Meanwhile, at the Los Sanchez International Hospital in Taylor's room, Waters sitting by Taylor's bedside, while Taylor's still unconscious. How the hell did he get like this? And as Ryder has some flashbacks to him and Taylor making love that night. In the end, of it, just as Stephanie came in and he saw and noticed, what the hell are you doing in my mother's room? I wouldn't have it every right to be. Really, says who? There's a lot that's happened here. Like seeing you two together, which seems odd to me. It's almost like you're up to something. Meanwhile, in Molly's room, Molly's lying in bed. So Sheldon came in and she saw. The doctor came in. Not yet, but I have a good feeling. You should seem sure of it. Like, I'm sorry, but hey, you have nothing to apologize, right? Just relax. Meanwhile, in Jordan's office, Jordan's working to someone not. Come in. And as Noah came in. Noah, I've been expecting you. Mom, I was wondering if that job offer still available. Why, yes, tis. That's just too bad. And as Lucas came in, and as he closed the door, and turned and faced Noah with Jordan there, because you're not taking this job. Lucas, I don't believe that you called him to. Lucas, can I have a moment with your brother? Listen to me, because I know why you're doing this. Meanwhile, at the Applegate apartment in Yolanda and Cole's apartment, Yolanda's cooking eggs to someone knocked on her door. And Cole came and got it. And it's Thomas. Is Yolanda here? What's it to you? And as Thomas pulled Cole all the way, but Cole grabbed him and pushed him right out the door just as Yolanda came to the arm. Don't you ever push your way in here. You're not welcome here. Now leave. I need to talk to you. There's nothing to talk about. Yeah, there is. Cole, do you mind checking out eggs? And as Cole went back in, and Yolanda turns to Thomas and slaps him. Who the hell do you think you are? Meanwhile, at the Grand View Diner, Adams finished working up an order and went to the kitchen where his mom Julie is. Mom, you got a second? Sure. How's the honeymoon with your wife? And as Adam has a flashback of him putting on the pennant and has a flash wave of the future. And that flashback ends. We're doing quite fine. Now, something's going on, and I can see it in your eyes, so don't you dare lie to me. Meanwhile, at the Edgewood Rich Manor in Vanessa's room, Vanessa's in her bed on an iPad, so Lucy knock. And Vanessa noticed. Lucy, you got a second? Sure, come in. And as Lucy came in and closed the door. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. I've been looking forward to this, even though if it's not with Jack. Yeah, I saw him at the church, but you didn't come for me for that. No, I didn't. How's things between you and Jeff? Okay, is there something going on with Jeff that I should know? Meanwhile, at the night still rich manor, Jeff came in and closed the door and head to the living room and put his stuff down and got his iPhone out and called Vanessa. But suddenly, Nellie came in and got it from him. Why the hell weren't you at the game today? Your father's really pissed at you. I have something to do. I hope it's better than football because that was the quarter facts. Yeah, I know. Did we win? Barely. So I hope you didn't make plans because you're officially canceled. And as her husband, David, came in the room. Look who decided to show up now. Dad, I can save it. You are grounded. Now go to your room. And as Natalie and David left the room and Chelsea came to where he is. I hope your mom's happy. I think I can help you get into your parents' grave. Meanwhile, at the Graham High School, Bobby's walking down the hall to someone pull him into the empty supply closet and they close the door. And Bobby turned and saw to Andrew, who's not happy. Meanwhile, at the Los Angeles International Hospital in Taylor's room, Taylor's lying in a coma while Stephanie and Ryder are talking. Just like you to say something, because it's true. Are you really gonna convince my mom to have me break up Oliver just so we can be together? Well, let me tell you this, not gonna happen. You know what? Not everything's about you. Oh, seems I hit a really sort wrong, but you'll just believe anything that comes to spite. The fact of the matter is, Tell and I have bought it on higher grounds, one you'll never understand. And I'm supposed to be impressed. I don't really give a damn what you do or not. And as Oliver came in the room, and Ryder and Stephanie saw, well, well, look who walked in the room. What the hell? He was just leaving. Wrong. I'm not going anywhere. 
Meanwhile, in Jordan's office, Jordan, Lucas, and Noah are talking. Oh, I didn't realize you could read minds. Just stop it. I know what the haters' family's done to our family. This has nothing to do with them. Noah, I'm not a fool. You know what? Why don't you let her tell the job she's offering? What's that, Mom? A cashier at the hospital. Dude, you really want to work here? It's a starting gig. Besides, you, Kristen, and my dad's family I got, and I don't want to lose that. That is why I need to tell you both something. Meanwhile, in Molly's room, Molly and Sheldon are talking. Who else is here? Not to worry, it's just me. Thanks. I didn't want to overwhelm your family. Why wouldn't you be? Tell me, if we didn't sleep together, would you still be Melissa? Why the hell do you care? I'm just asking because I see, look, I will always care about Melissa. But the fact of the matter is, she's married to Adam. Yeah, I can see that. You know, perhaps you might be a good father. And as the doctor came in. Hello, I'm Carolyn Walters. Do you have the results or not? Not only do I have the results, but I have the paternity test on who the father. Meanwhile, at the Applegate apartment in Yolanda and Cole's apartment, Yolanda's talking to Thomas at the door. You have really migrated into a bitch, haven't you? Yeah, it seems I have. Tell me something I don't know. I just came to tell you about Tracy. What about her? Aren't you worried about her trying to blackmail? Let me just stop you right there. I have no secrets, unlike the people I used to date. Are you still mad? You damn right I am. And it's Cole King, to what they are. Dude, we're not finished. Yeah, you are. You either leave or I'm calling the police. Meanwhile, at the Grandview Diner, Adam and Julie are talking. Mom, I really got a lot on my mind. Yeah, it seems you have. You've been married for less than 24 hours. It's my marriage, okay? Besides, that's not the problem. Then what is? And as they went inside the booth, I saw something. What do you mean by that? Look, I can't explain. All I know is I got a glimpse into the future. Did you have any drinks? Do you honey? Mom, I'm being serious here. All right. What did you see? Something that I never want to see ever again. Hey, it can't be that bad, Mom. It's more bad than you think. And it's Donald King to what they are. What's going on here? Meanwhile, at the Edgewood Rich Manor in Vanessa's room, Vanessa and Lucy are talking. No, I was just curious. Jeff and I are doing good, despite what happened earlier. Did you two have some sort of fight? Not exactly. More like I'm worried about losing him. Don't. Jeff's been there for you when we first moved in. And just to think, he lives right down the street from my house. Quite amazing, I like to say the least. Now back to you. Hold and I are going to raise this baby as a couple. What? Have you two considered marriage? Meanwhile, at the Nightstill Rich Manor in Jeff's room, Jeff and Chelsea came in talking. Look, I appreciate the offering, but nothing. I know how my mom gets when it comes to getting what she wants, and her threats are vital. What's with you guys with that stubborn ego to not hear you? I really got up to feed somewhere, so if you could just sit here and wait till I get back, I appreciate that. Let me guess. Nessa, right? You know what? From here on out, let me decide how I should handle my life. And as Jeff went and left the room, and Chelsea thinking, I'm sorry, Jeff, but I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Meanwhile, at the Graham High School in the supply closet, Andrew and Bobby are talking. What is it that you want, Jeff? I see you don't know who I am. All right, Andrew, Jeff, let me just get straight to the point. I don't know what kind of game you and Tracy have, my brother, but it ends now. Really? Yeah. If you thought my crew made your life a living hell, it's gonna continue if you don't stop your little charade right now. Oh, I cannot believe this. Being for Ennis, Andrew Grapple, and slam him against Raw. You think I'm playing, but I'm not. End this charade right now, or I swear to you, I will end you myself. Meanwhile, at the Los Angeles International Hospital in Taylor's room, Taylor's lying in a coma while Stephanie, Ryder, and Oliver are talking. What's your deal, dude? Starting Trump? No, Oliver. That would be you. Stop it. I'm not gonna let you two fight with me like I'm some damn credit card. Really? Who says I'm fighting for you? Why are you here anyway? He was trying to get my mom to talk me to leaving you. You just don't get it, do you? You know what? Fine. You have five minutes. Then nothing. 
and his father's iPhone rings and he got it in Suhortis. Look, I don't give a damn how many people you thought me, including your brother Roman. I am not gonna stop, okay? Tanner is the person I care about. Anyways, excuse me, I'm not gonna be long. And his brother turned and went out and answered the phone call. While Stephanie got up and went and closed the door. And then she turned and faced Oliver. What the hell is going on? That's exactly what I want to know because something clearly isn't right at all. Meanwhile, in Jordan's office, Jordan, Lucas, and Noah are talking. What's going on, Mom? Well, your dad and I are going to be on leave of absence to visit your grandparents. Are they okay? No, they're really sick and need both of us to take care of them. Then I'm coming with you too. So am I. No, you're not. I want you here so your father and I can reach you should your condition not be life-threatening. You make it sound like their caretaker went home to the mother's funeral. Anyways, I want Noah to start training as soon as possible as an intern under guardianship of you. So, Lucas, person is free to the task. Meanwhile, in Molly's room, Caroline, Molly, and Sheldon are talking. So what's the results? Congratulations, Molly. You're gonna have a baby. You see, I was right about my feelings. They never liked at all, so I see. So who's the father of my baby? That's easy. The guy standing right next to you. Seriously? I'm the father of the baby? Yeah. Anyways, I scheduled your first sonogram in a couple of weeks and rolled you two in class so you two need to be prepared and I'll be back with the paperwork. And as Carolina went and left and closed the door, and Sheldon turned to Molly. This is the most happiest day of my life. Having this little miracle inside of me. Make no mistake, Molly. From here on out, this baby and you will be my priority. And as Sheldon leaned and kissed her, and Molly has the flashback for her coming in of the DNA lab where Chelsea is. Did you not to worry? Always taking care. This baby will ensure my future is shut. I cannot believe you're doing this. Yeah, I am. All my plans are finally coming to pass. I am finally gonna get what I decide. And it's a flashback end. And Sheldon said something wrong. Everything fine? This is sort of so not. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm about to have everything I desire. Meanwhile, well, at the Applegate apartment and Yolanda and Cole's apartment, Yolanda, Thomas, and Cole are talking. Why is it you're always looking for a way in this conversation? She's my wife, and I won't let you disrespect her at all. Are you kidding me? All I did was love her like no other. Well, I'm afraid those days are over. I'm certain Victoria's probably wondering what you are. Oh, I didn't realize you were so- Shut up, Thomas, and don't ever come back again. Last I call, I have a right to live in this building. That might be true, but not here. Thanks to the warning regarding Tracy, but my husband and I got it from here. And it's Yolanda King and close the door. Meanwhile, at the Grand View Diner, Adam and Julie are surprised by Donald's arrival. Adam and I protect nothing. But you tell me, why don't you just tell me? Look, I'm late for work. And as Adam got up and heads to the back, and Donald went and sat at the table, facing Julie. What's going on with him? I don't know. You should be more concerned about our problems. Adam is our son, and no he's not, and soon it's about to find out the truth, that Ben is his dad. He won't find out. Look, can we go somewhere and talk? I divorce? Look, I already said what I need to say to you. Julie wanted to, it is going to end whether you like it or not, and as Julie got up and left the diner, and Donna also got up and followed her. Meanwhile, at the night still rich manor in Jeff's room, Chelsea's on her iPhone, Tornelli came in. And saw Chelsea there. What the hell are you doing here? And where's my son? He had to run some errands, but not to worry, Mrs. Nightdale. Nothing's going on. That's good to know. You see, Jeff's helping me with my homework at college. Tell Jeff when you see him, his father and I would like to speak to him. Will do. And as Natalie head out, Mrs. Nightdale and as Natalie stop and turn and face Chelsea. Do you have a second? Sure. Before your husband lash up Jeff, there's something you should know. Meanwhile, at the Edgewood Rich Manor, Vanessa and Lucy are coming down the stairs to the living room, talking. We didn't want to rush into things, but we do what it takes for my baby to be safe. Look, I love Holden a lot, and we're going to be a family. You know, you have my full support, just like I have yours. You know, Jeff's been very amazing. Anyways, what plans do you have for the rest of your senior year in high school? Well, now that my cheerleading career is at a standstill, I honestly don't know. Anyways, I better be going. I got another appointment, and Holden should be there by now. And as our iPhone beeps, and Lucy sees who it is. Yeah, he's here. I see you later. And as Lucy head out, 
And Vanessa went and sat on the couch and took her iPhone and started doing pictures of her and Jeff. To someone knock on the door. And as Vanessa got up and went and got the door. And it's Jeff Valentine's. And Vanessa's surprised to see him there. Jeff, what are you doing here? We need to talk. Meanwhile, at the Graham High School in a supply closet, Andrew and Bobby are talking while Andrew continues how Bobby gets the wall. Look, if you don't get the damn hands off me right now, I will resort to desperate measures once you can't seem before. That's precious and cute. Like you're really gonna do anything against me. Try me. And as Andrew let him go, consider this a warning. I'm not afraid of you. Really? Cause last I remember, look, I don't want to rehash that good. So you better march on down to Tracy and tell her that your game with my brother ends. Why are you doing this? Because I protect my family. I protect the ones I care. And I'm going to do whatever I have to to keep it that way. So the last thing you want to do right now is push me. And as Andrew went and left his podcast. Just as Bobby's iPhone rings. And he got it and saw Tracy and answered. Hello? Yeah. Hook, line, and sinker. Not to worry. I'm not afraid of Andrew's so-called threats. He's gonna be the one that's been going down into end.